This video will demonstrate the procedure for the cryopreservation of packed red cells. To perform this procedure you will need blood collected in a heparinized tube, a 15 and a 50 ml centrifuge tubes, phosphate buffered saline, glycerolite, a 1 ml syringe, a 3 or 5 ml syringe, transfer pipettes, screw cap cryovials with internal threads and you will also need a calculator to determine the volume of glycerolite to be added to packed red cells. If available on site, the transfer pipettes can be replaced by a pipetter and serological pipettes. This procedure must be performed in a clean environment, preferably in a closed room. Personal protective equipment must be worn at all times. Appropriate measures must be taken to discard all biological waste. To begin the procedure, mix the blood in the heparinized tube by inverting the tube a few times. Transfer the blood from the sample collection tube into a 15 ml centrifuge tube using a transfer pipette. Centrifuge the blood at 700 Gs or RCF for 5 minutes. If a refrigerated centrifuge is available, perform this and all subsequent centrifugation steps at 4 degrees centigrade. Ensure that the tubes are balanced before centrifugation. After centrifugation, transfer approximately 1.5 ml of the plasma into a labeled cryovial and store in liquid nitrogen. Discard any remaining plasma along with the Buffy coat. The packed red cells should now be washed. To one volume of packed red cells, add three volumes of phosphate buffered saline. RPMI 1640 medium or sterile normal saline can also be used for this purpose. Wash the packed red cells by gentle up and down pipetting.
centrifuge the red cell suspension at 700 G's or RCF for 5 minutes. Discard the supernatant and repeat the wash and centrifugation steps two more times, making a total of three washes. Discard the supernatant each time. Transfer the packed red cells from the 15 ml centrifuge tube to the 50 ml centrifuge tube. While transferring, estimate the volume in milliliters of the packed red cells. Multiply the estimated volume of packed red cells by 0.33. The result is the volume in milliliters of glycerolite which is added initially to the packed red cells. For example, if the volume of the packed red cells is 1.5 milliliters, you will add 0.5 milliliters of glycerolite to the cells. Use the 1 ml syringe to measure out the volume of the glycerolite. Add the glycerolite drop by drop to the packed red cells with continuous shaking. This part of the procedure must be performed very slowly and should take no less than 3 to 5 minutes. After the glycerolite has been added to the packed red cells, keep the packed red cells at room temperature for 5 minutes. During the incubation, calculate the volume of the glycerolite which is further added to the packed red cells. To do this, multiply the original volume of the packed red cells by 1.33. For example, if the original volume of the packed red cells was 1.5 milliliters, you will add 2 milliliters of glycerolite.
Add the glycerolite to the packed red cells with continuous shaking. This part of the procedure must be performed slowly and should take two to three minutes. After the glycerolite has been added to the packed red cells, transfer the packed red cells to a labeled 5 ml cryovial. If some assays will be performed with this sample in the local lab, prepare two aliquots. Only one of the aliquots will be shipped to the specimen management center in Bangkok and only this aliquot should have the barcode label. Keep the cryovials overnight at minus 80 or minus 20 degrees centigrade before transferring to liquid nitrogen for longer term storage. If a freezer is not available, keep the cryovial at 4 degrees centigrade for one hour before transfer to liquid nitrogen.